Hey everyone, welcome to Unit 3, Lesson 7, where we're going to be learning how to write linear equations given two points that are on the line. So far, you have learned how to write linear equations given a slope and a y-intercept, where you simply put it into the equation y equals mx plus b, and you wrote the equation of the line. You've been um, able to write linear equations given a slope and a point, where you put it into uh, point slope form. And then once it was in point slope form, you translated it into y equals mx plus b. You've also written linear equations given the graph. Okay. And when you were given the graph, from the graph, you pulled the slope and the y-intercept and put it into slope-intercept form. So what if now we need to write a linear equation and all we know about the line is two points that it crosses? That's basically what we're doing. We're being given two points on the line and we have to write that equation of the line. So it's pretty easy to do. We just gotta be very specific about the steps. If we're given two points on the line, then we can very easily find the slope of the line using those two points using the slope formula. So we're going to find the slope first using the slope formula, which is y minus y over x minus x. And once we find the slope, well, we can then use point slope to start building our line, building the equation. Because remember guys, they gave us two points which means we have a point and we just found the slope so we can use point slope okay to build the equation of the line because we just found the slope over here and then we can pick whichever point we want and build our point slope let's stop talking and let's start acting here let's start doing this all right so we have an uh we have a problem here that basically says write the equation of the line that passes through these two points. Write the equation of the line that passes through these two points. So we have these two points. Can you graph them and draw the line and do it by hand? Sure, but we don't have graph paper right now and we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna do it algebraically. So algebraically, the first thing we wanna do is we notice that we have two points, so let's go ahead and find the slope of the line using those two points. So the slope is equal to y minus y over x minus x. So I went ahead and did seven minus negative one over negative three minus one. This y and then this x will go first, okay? So my slope is eight over negative four, also known as negative two. So now I have my slope. What I also have is I have two points on the line. So let's pick one so that we can write our equation in point slope form. We know form. We know our slope and we know a point. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the first one just cause you can always pick the first one if you want. We've got a point and we've got a slope. Let's put it in point slope form. So what about this point? Uh, who cares? We didn't pick them. It's not two points in a slope form, it's called one point slope form, point slope form. So if you always wanna pick the first one, always pick the first one, that's fine. Found our slope. Let's put it in point slope form. Y minus Y, because I picked this point. Y minus Y is equal to the slope, which we found to be negative two, parentheses X minus or plus three, because it's negative three. So y minus y equals slope x minus minus three. Perfect. So we found our slope, we grabbed a point, and we put it into point slope form. Now switch it into y equals mx plus b and finish this party. So y minus seven is equal to negative two x minus six by distributing the two. Now we add the seven to both sides to get y is equal to negative two x plus one. All we're doing here is layering everything we've learned and kind of seeing how everything is interconnected with each other. Let's try another example. So we're writing the equation of the line given two points. 
So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and put it in point slope form, but we need a point. Got that, but we definitely need a slope. We don't got that, but we can find it. So let's find the slope. So y minus y is equal to x minus x. So negative 1 minus minus 6 over 2 minus 4. That's equal to 5 over, nope, yeah, 5 over 2 minus 4 is negative 2 or negative 5 halves. All right, that's my slope. Uh, let's pick this first point because I'm just always going to pick the first one. Pick my first point. Doesn't matter which one you pick, we're going to get the same answer. So let's put it into our point slope form. So y minus y, so y plus one is equal to slope x minus two. So y minus minus one is equal to slope x minus two. And now that we have it in point slope form, switch it into y equals mx plus b by solving for y. So y plus one is equal to negative five halves x plus 10 over 2, which is 5. Subtract 1 from both sides to get y is equal to negative 5 halves x plus 6. And you can definitely um, check by putting x and y into this equation and see if it makes a true statement. Putting x and y into this equation and see if it makes a true statement. So hopefully, those are a good guide to try problems two, four, five, and six, nice and slowly, go through the steps, rewatch the video as needed, and check your answers with the answer key on Canvas. Prepare any questions that you have for the end of this video or for class. So just a review, we are finding the equation of the line or writing the equation of the line given two points. First thing you want to do is notice since you have two points, you can find the slope. And then once you find the slope, you can write an equation in point and slope form using one of the points. We always chose the first one just for fun. Once you have your equation in point slope form, you will then convert it into y equals mx plus b to answer it in slope intercept form. Thanks for watching. Thanks for learning.